Hi there. Today we are going to learn the subtraction using our small friends. So pay attention and watch till the end so that you will understand the technique exactly and properly. Up till now we have learned about small friends and we have also seen addition using small friends. If you haven't seen those videos, I'll link it in the description below. Alright. And if you haven't subscribed yet, do subscribe to my channel. Okay, without wasting our time, let's go ahead and check out our examples for learning the subtraction using small friends. Alright. The first one is 8 minus 4 that is okay so this is 8 on our abacus and we are going to subtract 4 from it how are we going to do that we don't have 4 earthly bits the way we do in a, a simple subtraction right so what are we going to do we will ask for help from our small friend right the small friend of 4 is 1 so we are going to subtract 4 in the form of minus 5 plus 1 because minus 4 is also equal to minus 5 plus 1 right so minus 5 and plus 1 there we go that's the answer 8 minus 4 that is 4 all right next one 6 minus 3. This is 6 on our abacus. And uh oh, again, we cannot subtract 3 directly, right? Why? Because we don't have 3 earthly bits here to move away from the answering bar, right? So let's ask for the help. The small friend of 3 is 2. That's correct. So we are going to subtract 3 in the form of minus 5 plus 2. That's right. Minus 3 is equal to minus 5 plus 2. So, minus 5 and plus 2. There we go. So, 6 minus 3 is 3. Right. One more. Okay. 5 minus 2 that is okay so this is 5 on our abacus and now from this we are going to subtract 2 and again we don't have enough earthly bits here to move away from the answering bar right so what are we going to do we are going to ask the help of our small friend so we are going to subtract 2 in the form of minus 5 plus 3 because minus 2 is equal to minus 5 plus 3 so let's do it minus 5 plus 3 there we go the answer is 3 so 5 minus 2 that is 3 now you will say oh what are you doing i mean we would have done 5 minus 2 directly we are doing some random calculation unnecessarily well believe me this is the foundation stone for your complex calculations. So, keep doing it, keep practicing it because we are going to use it later in our complex calculations of our multiple digits. Alright. If you want to learn it in detail and if you want to master it, if you want to practice it with a lot of examples, do check out my course on Udemy. I'll link it in the description below. And subscribe to my channel. And for regular updates and regular videos, hit that bell icon. See you in the next video. Till then, keep learning and keep mastering the technique of abacus with Instabacus.